no lie, but the one. And he said unto him, Arise and go your way. Your faith has made you whole. With the aid of the Holy Spirit, I want to talk about the benefits of giving God thanks. Benefits of giving God thanks. My brothers and my beloved sisters, this is not the first time we have heard this passage of not the first time we heard about lepers. Only right. oh, in the Old Testament we heard of lepers, how they stood at the gate, a man wanting and needed some help. And not only that, but Luke records chapter number five, round verse number 12, Again about a leper that comes to Jesus and asks him to heal him. Or just like I said the other night, when you read about blind people in the Bible, their names are not mentioned. No more than Bartimaeus. But before his name is mentioned, blind is put on the front of him. And it's the same thing that goes along with those that have lepers. If you notice, none of them, the name aren't given. No more than Naaman. The Bible speaks of Naaman when it says about Naaman, it speaks of his position. But it still tells us that he was a leper. Now this disease was a bad disease. Four of some people had it. At least five to twenty years it did not even show no sign. Then there was others that had it and you knew that they had lepers. Because it would show up on their skin show up on their eyes. Amen. It would even be so bad that it caused them to lose body parts. Some of them would lose fingers, toes, ears. They would lose so many body parts depending on how bad the disease affected the body. But whether they had a bad case or a light case. All of them had to group up together and yell out and shout out when they saw people coming that I am a leper. According to the book of Leviticus around chapter 14, there was special laws given that when people had this disease, they had to shout it out I am a leper. Mm -hmm. When they saw people coming, they had to stand at least approximately a hundred feet from them and shout to the top of their voice, oh, yeah. I, am I am a leper. They had to call out their condition yeah. to let other people know I got something that you don't want. Uh, Any good that we are not under the law anymore. Yeah. We are upon the grace and truth. Cause if we was up under the law, amen, none of us would be here tonight. All right. I'm so glad, Pastor Thomas, I'm not up under the law because I'm not good with telling my business. And you're not good with telling your business. But we all good with telling somebody else's business. Whether we text it, whether we write it, whether we look funny, we have a way of telling people business. Some of us are so good, we can tell it, 
Amen. And won't even call the name. But you can just about put the description with the person you talking about. But I'm so glad, amen, whatever you're going through, you can take it to the Lord in prayer. These men had to gather together and shout out at the top of their voice, I am a leopard. Amen. In some cases, this is good, but in some cases, it's bad because sometimes shouting, amen, will cause people to reach out and help you. But sometimes shouting will get you in a world of trouble and cause people to talk about you. But here in this particular passage of Scripture, Jesus already tells us in chapter number 17 about faith. He tells us, amen, that if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, in other words, Jesus says some things can happen. Well, it don't take a whole lot if you just use the little you have. Amen. Faith will turn some things around in your life. The reason why you're saved, you're not saved by feeling, but you're saved by faith. I'm not saying, amen, if you can run up and down the aisle and shout, speak in tongues, and jump over a pew, but your faith, amen, causes you to be saved. I think this is one of the greatest miracles because unlike any other miracle, amen, there are two occasions where Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. You remember the woman with the issue of blood. The Bible said that Jesus tells her, your faith made you whole. And here on another occasion, now here a man that has leprosy. And Jesus tell him, your faith have made you whole. So right here, amen, I started shouting because I felt like I had to be in a prayer line and get greased up with all. I felt like, amen, I had to roll on the floor and fall at the mouth. But he tells me some blessing, amen, some miracle, you don't even have to be in church. You can be riding down the road and your faith. I wish I had some faith believers here. Have made you. You can be walking in Walmart to get feel your faith. Have made you whole. If you just have faith. We find today that a lot of people, amen, they come to church dressed up, smelling good. Got a title on that man, yeah. but no have no faith. Yeah. And I'm scared of folk that don't have faith. Yeah. Because folk that don't have faith, they'll sit around and count dollars yeah. until it makes sense. Yeah. Don't they say that they But amen, when you got faith, your money may be down here. Yeah. But your faith roots your back. Yeah. I wish I had some witnesses here. But you can go in the car lot and come out with a price look. Thank God for faith. I'm trying to help somebody here tonight because somebody here, your faith is wavering. Amen. You, you, you're shouting on Sunday, but your faith wavering on Monday. But I want to tell you the same faith you have on Sunday. I dare you to pick it up on Monday. I dare you to carry it on Tuesday. I dare you to trust it on Wednesday. I dare you to hold on it on Thursday. I dare you to believe in it on Friday. That faith, faith moves God. I happen to know faith moves God. Look at Hezekiah. I have to say Hezekiah was sick unto death. But he had a comfort call with the Lord. Can I get a witness here? And he began to talk to the Lord. And he began to remind God of his faith. And one thing I like, God changed his mind. Somebody said, well, 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 how did God change his mind? He can do what he wanted to do. I'm not trying to figure out how God changed his mind. I'm just glad 
he changed his life. Because all of us been in some situation, amen, and if the devil had a hand in me, you would have wound up in hell. But thank God, God changed. In my that head that you had really was an aneurysm. Thank God that God changed. In my that pain in your chest was dead.
talk about folks. How you gonna scandalize the folk? You 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 may be up on the high horse today, but you don't know what tomorrow gonna bring. So he left us and listen, we got to stick together because they already done threw all of us in a boat. Already done threw all of us in one pot. So we got to automatically stick together. And I wish, I wish, and I pray that us as a black people can learn how to stick together. Can I get a witness here? Whether you stay down street or Wall Street, we need to learn how to stick together. We have churches have to learn how to stick Everybody got their own thing going on. Tell on somebody. Amen. You get mad and go down the street and start a church. Go up the street and start another church. You on it. You on it. You on it. Maybe y'all don't have it down here. But when I was from me getting mad and start third Baptist, go on the second Baptist, go on down the third Baptist, then somebody started saying, We the true Baptist. Thank you. 
Amen. When I look in the text here, no way did Jesus beat these men down for not coming back. But amen, this one said, before I go anyway, I just want to tell him thank you. If I had a conversation with this leper man, I would ask him, tell me, where are the man? I can hear him say, well, I don't know. I imagine he said, to tip off. Yeah, three, I can't find. Four, when focusing on his friends. Five, he went finding a new dwelling place. Six and seven, they just sailed off. Eight, amen, he exercised his public rights. Nine, he never stood around to tell us where he was going. Ten, amen, just took off. He said, well, I cannot tell you where are the rest of them. But all I can tell you, I got to go back and tell the Lord thank you. Yeah, and if I were you tonight, I would let the night pass without telling the Lord thank you. Yeah, I cannot leave Wagner Grove without telling the Lord thank you. I cannot pack up and go back to Macon. Yeah, but I tell 